Hello, my darling friends. Welcome back to Flow, your 30-day yoga journey. Today is day nine, release. Let's get started. All right, come on down to the ground. Find a comfortable seat and we're gonna bring the palms together and start to rub them together to begin this session. Thank you for being here. Slowly dropping into the moment today, the invitation to release any expectation of how the rest of your journey is going to go. We'll release stress, any tension we might be holding in the body, tension that you know of or tension that you're maybe not aware of. Continuing to deepen our relationship with the breath, creating a fluid conversation with the mind and the body. Get a little faster here, create a little heat, some friction. Sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, close your eyes. You can affirm here if you like, you can repeat after me quietly in your head or whisper. I release that which no longer serves. Mm-hmm, an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> I release that which no longer serves. Inhale in, exhale to bat the eyelashes open. Let's take it on forward. Hi, Benji. Into a tabletop position. Spread the fingertips wide. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Cow. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Really tuck your tailbone here today. Press into the tops of the feet. Good, inhale, tailbone lifts up. Heart forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Tailbone lengthens down. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Inhale to tabletop. Drop the elbows exactly where the hands are. Spread the fingertips wide. Forearms parallel. Then gently walk the knees back. Tailbone lifts up towards the sky. And we melt the heart, opening up through the shoulders, lengthening through the side body. Stay connected with your hands. So find that hand to earth connection to root you here. A little stability. Breathe into the belly, forehead might come to the ground. Continue to deepen your breath. Nice, then carve a line with your nose, look forward, slide all the way forward through to your belly. Press the pubic bone into the earth and as you're ready, slowly tuck the chin and rise up to Sphinx pose. Sphinx. Pose. Press into the tops of the feet. Ground down through your elbows. Find extension through the crown of your head. Inhale in here. Exhale, slowly release and lower. You're going to send the fingertips behind you now. Peek at me if you need to. Palms face down. Reach the fingertips back. Inhale in. Exhale, lift the head, the neck, but keep the neck long. So gaze is straight down. We draw the shoulder blades together. Spinal extension, breathe in. Nice, mindfully release. Hands come underneath the shoulders. We press up to all fours. Good, curl the toes under, walk the hands back. Knees open to our squat position. Just check in with the feet. Notice if this is changing at all or your relationship to being asked to do it is changing at all. If not, that's okay. And then we're gonna walk it all the way out to a plank. Reach the heels back, half plank. 
Lower the knees if you like. Otherwise, full plank breathing. Hmm. Lifting up through the upper back body, crown of the head reaching forward. You got it. You're here for three, two, and one. Hips go high and back. Downward facing dog. Take a couple moments here. And just notice, remember, the movement is an expression of the inner conversation. So as I guide you, you can kind of make it your own by noticing how you're feeling in each shape, with each action, with every breath. Okay, anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, send the right foot forward and lower your back knee. Bring the right hand over towards the left side of your mat and keep it nice and easy here. So maybe not lifting the back knee just yet, keeping it nice and soft in the skin of the face, just breathing deep. Then bring your right hand back to the right edge of your mat. Lift your back knee now, step your right toes back and just go right to that downward facing dog. Inhale in, heart melts back, low ribs hug in. Good, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg up high, slide it up that imaginary wall. Exhale, shift it forward, step it forward, lower the right knee. Bring the left hand over to the right side of your mat and just breathe, pulling that left hip crease back. Hmm. Bring the left hand back to frame the foot. We'll lift the back knee, step it to plank. Inhale in, exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the heels together now, so they don't have to touch, but just turn the heels in. Inhale in here as you bend the knees wide like a frog, and then exhale, drop the heels. Two more like that. Inhale, bend wide. Exhale, drop the heels. Claw through the fingertips, last one, you got this. Lovely, then we'll bring the heels back in line with the toes and the ankles, and slow and steady when you're ready, start to make your way up to the top of your mat. Feet hip width apart is where we will meet, standing forward fold, Uttanasana at the top of the mat. Clasp opposite elbow with opposite hand, and begin to rock gently side to side. Relax the weight of the head over. Listen to the sound of your breath. I love to use my creative mind in forward folds and just imagine this weight, any weight I've been carrying on my back, any tension in my shoulders, any worry or anxiety in my brain just spills off here and kind of reintegrates back into the earth. I don't need to carry it around in my body anymore. Release the arms if you haven't already. Bend your knees generously and connect to your feet to support the low back. Draw the navel in and let's roll it up to stand. And the sun has come out here where I am. And we're in mountain pose. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Ground through all four corners of the feet. And when you're ready, spread the fingertips. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, wiggle the fingertips as you bend the knees and slow and steady forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift with airplane arms. So you're gonna send the fingertips back, just like we did on the belly, palms face down, draw the shoulder blades together. Cool, inhale in again here, and then use your exhale to cascade it down. Back up the way we came, inhale, root to rise, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, wiggle the fingertips, take it right back down into the fold. Inhale, halfway lift again, airplane arms, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale to soften and fold. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back, plank pose, extension through the crown of the head. I know I keep saying that, but just keep working there. Inhale in again here, and use your exhale to lower all the way to your belly. Inhale for cobra, lift. Exhale to soften and release. 
Send the fingertips back, palms face down. Inhale, lift the head, the neck, the chest, but keep the gaze straight down for this one. So nice long neck. Beautiful, slowly release. Press the palms into the earth. You get to choose here whether you press up to all fours or plank pose. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. In down dog, inhale, slide the right leg up that imaginary wall. And on an exhale, squeeze the right knee up into the chest and then step it up into your lunge. Beautiful, pivot on your back foot. As you're ready, inhale, keep that front knee bent as we reach the left fingertips all the way up and back for warrior two. Inhale to lift and lengthen through the crown. Exhale to pull the pinkies back in space and lift your chest. One more breath here, inhale in. And exhale. Now listen carefully. We're gonna send the left fingertips down and bring both fingertips forward as you pivot on your back foot. Peek at me if you need to. Navel draws in to support you here. And then you're gonna pull the shoulders back in space. Good, inhale and lift your chest. Exhale, send the fingertips back. Crown of the head forward, palms face down. Heart looking forward, maybe your, your Sorry, heart reaching forward. Maybe you're looking into an imaginary pool of water here, seeing your reflection. Back leg is super strong. You got this. Extension through the crown. Then fingertips go down to come all the way up, high lunge. Ooh, breathe in. Breathe out, take it all the way back down to the mat. Awesome, plant the palms, step the right toes back. Inhale in, exhale belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dock. Inhale in to lift your heart and then exhale, release everything down. Locust variation, send the fingertips back, press into the pubic bone, inhale, find that extension through the crown, maybe lift a little higher. And then exhale to release. Press up to all fours or plank, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's keep it moving. Inhale, slide the left leg up the wall. Exhale, shift it forward from center. Step it up. Pivot on the back foot. Keep that front knee bent. Lead with center. So navel draws in and that helps lift you up through the spine. Right fingertips reach forward, up and all the way back. Take a moment here to find your alignment. Think of the body as one moving part. So you make one adjustment and then it kind of affects something else, creating a presence in the body. Beautiful, now inhale in here, exhale slow and steady. Right fingertips are gonna come down. Your center moves you as you slowly come forward, pivot on the back foot. Fingertips reach forward, then actively draw the shoulders back in space. Hold on to your core. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, get really tall on the spine. As you exhale, you're gonna send the fingertips back in space, crown of the head forward. We lean forward and we have a strong presence in that back leg, so really active. Take a look down into the pond, see your reflection, this is definitely Always a Zoolander moment for me. Who am I? And then squeezing your thighs to the midline as you slowly send the fingertips down to come up. Big, powerful high lunge here as you reach towards the sky. Nice, inhale in, exhale. Slowly release it back down. Plant the palms, step the left toes back. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Use your inhale to lift your heart and use your exhale to soften all the way back down to the earth. Inhale for locust. Exhale, draw the navel in and up. Lift the head, send the fingertips back. Maybe we lift the toes and the ankles here, maybe. Press the pubic bone into the earth. Inhale in to inflate and then exhale to soften and release everything. Plant the palms, curl the toes under. Press up to all fours or plank. Breathe in, breathe out, downward dog. Breathe here.
Inhale, carve a line with the nose, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Baby steps, maybe a float, maybe a hop, maybe a little grapevine, do -si do Forward fold at the top. Feet hip width apart or flush together. Doesn't matter to me, just nice conscious footing. So you get to choose. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, send the fingertips back. Exhale to release. Root to rise here, squeeze the legs if the feet are together. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, hands back down to the heart, prayer position. Try not to fidget here if you can. Resist the urge, just notice. Breathe, observe. Notice where you might be clinching. Can you soften or release there? Notice the thoughts that come floating by like clouds. Can you acknowledge them and then release them? All right, inhale in. As you exhale, you can bat your eyelashes open if you haven't already. Lift the sternum to the thumbs. We're gonna shift the weight to the left foot. I step back on my mat just for camera, but you can stay at the front of your mat if you like, or step back with me. Shifting the weight to the left foot, we're gonna inhale, lift the right knee up. Now this is easier said than done, so you can always use a little wall or a piece of furniture, or if you're practicing with someone, you can use them. <laughs> as a little kickstand. But you also have, you have the good stuff right here. So try to connect your hips to your low ribs. You have your abs here to help you find that lift. And we're here, standing one-legged Tadasana. Breathe in, stand up a little taller. Breathe out, you're gonna slowly, slowly send the heart forward, send the foot back. Maybe point the right toes, just help give you a little extension there. And then if it feels available or fun, we might reach the fingertips back, airplane arms, draw the shoulder blades together, extension through the crown of the head. Beautiful, inhale in, wherever you are, exhale. See if you can come back to that standing one-legged Tadasana, even if it's just for a moment and then release. So we release the leg and we also release that experience. Like, okay, cool, my balance is not that great today. Let's try it again. Or maybe it's wonderful and you're like, wow, it's coming together. Here we go. Left leg lifts up. Imagine you're lifting from center, whatever that means to you. Nice and slow. I like to really slow these, these balancing postures down so that I am recruiting all of my core muscles and not just kind of doing them on a wing and a prayer. I feel like I did that for many years. There's a good metaphor there. Okay, here we go. Lift the sternum to the thumbs and start to play. Shift your heart forward, gaze forward, left leg kicks back. Maybe we send the fingertips back. I like to imagine pressing my palms into like some dense air or maybe a little sheet of plexiglass, something here to really help me find that extension in the crown. Breathe. All that ab work of drawing the navel to the spine, find that here. Lovely, and then slowly release, fall out of it, laugh, fart, chuckle. Come back to that standing one-legged Tadasana, wherever you are. Just capture it for a moment and then let it go. Awesome work. All right, now come to stand in the center of your mat. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're gonna end with one of my favorite moves here today to release any stagnant energy. So if this is new for you, you're gonna find a soft knee. So very important not to lock up the knees here and a soft, malleable foot, whatever that means to you. Your body will, will know. And we'll just shift our weight a little left to right and the arms are gonna be loose like noodles. And there's so many different modalities that do a version of this. And I think there's a good reason for that. 
But for today, let's not think too hard. Just allow our gaze to be soft. Shift a little left to right. And maybe you find a little breath pattern here that feels good. Maybe you find a little weight in the swing of the arms that results in inevitably a little booty smack. And for the next 30 seconds, try to embody this gesture fully here in the present moment. Let go of any thoughts, any expectations, release them. And swing the arms, moving your center from left to right. We call this knocking on heaven's door. And you will get to this moment where you feel like an idiot. <laughs> and then that's the greatest moment because you're like, yeah, cool. I'm going to keep doing it anyway because it feels like something is stirring in me. Five more seconds. And then slowly begin to wind it down, coming to stand in Tadasana. Feet together, really together, arms gently at your side. Slowly bring your right hand to your heart center and your left hand to your heart center. Palms in prayer or palms on the chest. Great work today. Now you have this in your vocabulary, the invitation, the tool, the choice to release. Release any tension in the forehead. And inhale, draw the thumbs up there. Give a little massage. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Great work. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's take one final breath in from the heels, the soles of the feet, all the way to the crown of the head. Let's breathe in. And exhale, final breath together to bow. Namaste.